Light versus, okay, so Light versus Iza. Iza, also really strong player. Minor hog band, which means we can see giants. We can see pumps. We even see a Sparky. I don't know. Musketeer in the back. Ooh, a trifecta. Or Jifecta. Can we be into a Jifecta? Yeah. It, it's proven strong. In fact, I've played it, and I and it's been really good in tournament level. There's the giant for Iza. The minions kind of played in front of his... Uh, it was, I think it was done it purposely because of yeah, the he got, I mean, he got the the trade value off of it, and he got hits on tower. Wow, I like how his musketeer did not target the, uh, the guards. guards. That was crazy, and they hit tower, and he got damage off. Mini Pekka to counter the giant, but Mini Pekka also coming in here gonna be able to counter his Mini Pekka. Yeah, I think it's gonna shut it down, and that's oh, a, such a strong push coming in. Wow, the freaking musketeer targeted the Mini Pekka and not the giant. What a great counter by Orion. That just that, that was little inch. That was insane. Yeah, it, it didn't even touch the giant. That was crazy. That's, that's high level gameplay you don't usually see. Yeah, that's stuff that you kind don't of small see. Stuff. Like, or I like would, I would have known. I, uh, if I would have placed my musketeer there, I would have known it wasn't. I would have thought it was going to tolerate the giant, honestly. Exactly. Just like Ryu's hog pull on the other mini P.E.K.K.A., where it pulled the mini P.E.K.K.A. and it didn't even get tower damage, and it was that was crazy. That kind of Those kind of plays are insane. Uh, and that poison, we didn't even talk about that, but Iza had a really strong poison there. He was trying to get the tower damage, he was trying to get the push, and even though he didn't get it, he shut down all the troops for four. So, you know what I think counters is gonna his deck? come ahead. I think Giant Poison gets countered by Giant Sparky. Giant Poison does get countered by Giant Sparky, especially if it's two. Oh, oh, it's, it's gonna get another hit. Two hits? Two hits? Wow, two oh, hits from the mini pack of Valkyrie it does so much work. It's shutting down the Ice Wizard and doing tower damage there. And they're both pumping up, so because Giant and Pump is allowed, we're gonna see it all. We're gonna see it all the matches. But the thing is, Iza if, though, Iza's really putting if, uh, it away. If Orion's running Giant, he has to show There it is. Okay, him. right as you say, right on cue. Speak of the devil. There's the Giant, and it's smart of him. He has to play Giant on the right hand side. He's got to defend that tower. In fact, I would argue it's kind of weird that Iza went the left hand side. You would love to have because he could poison the right one and then zap it. If, okay, that makes sense. If he really, if it really comes down to it, then he can go to it. Poison on the left hand side Inferno. is really strong. Inferno Tower shutting down that giant doesn't even do anything, and now his left side push looks a that's, lot stronger. But that's what we talked about last time. When when giant is not banned, Inferno is probably the best card to put your deck. Oh, definitely, hands down, the best card to put in your deck, especially if your deck's low cost and you can play well, you can play it effectively. He's a just shut down two giants, double giant shutdown with one Inferno. That's. Ridiculous. You, yeah, you can't get better value than that. Uh, and he's up the pumps. He's giving him the GG. All he has to do, he doesn't even go for the zap, just poisons for game. Oh, played. And Alpha takes round one. Uh oh. Woo! Alpha takes round one of the series. Yo, at the end of the day, one of these clans it's is, is walking away undefeated, and the other is not, yes. This is literally, yeah, this is literally the rival match. Both. Patrick versus Bright Light. Bright Light coming in for his team versus Patrick C of Nova. Do they both start with pump? Do is they both be, have the pump? Is, is the it going to be question. another? Uh, uh, Bright Light has the pump. Patrick did not start with pump. Interesting, interesting. Are Which, we coming up with a giant? And he doesn't have minor. He needs a. Uh, which is fine. If the other opponent starts with pump and they start playing stuff on that right-hand side, just save your poison, like I said. You're still going to get full value out of the poison, and you can even get some troops, so... Poison the giant musketeer on the right-hand side. Kind of weird. Uh, he's going to take out the musketeer. I guess that's what he's going for. That's basically take out the main damage, and there comes out the mini P.E.K.K.A. Yep. It might have even been cycling for it. Unfortunately, and he Patrick plays a bad poison and doesn't get the pump, too. I'm not sure what he was thinking there. Oh, the princess is just getting free hits on the tower. Oh, right? yeah. The princess is doing mad work over there on the left-hand side. Causing him to play a Valkyrie to defend a princess? Oh, That always hurts me. Anytime you have to do that in a giant deck, uh, especially when you don't have anything to push that Valkyrie because he already used his musketeer. And he's running the giant effective, too. There it is, yeah. We've seen all the cards. Giant, Musketeer, and Valkyrie. Princess on the right-hand side is... It looks like we're gonna have a repeat. Princess just doing poke damage. Bright Light giant. is up. So much Elixir. Going for that left-hand side with the Giant. It's really cool to see him dropping Giant all the way in the back. Not in the left, not in the right, but like literally in as far back as you can drop that Giant. He's trying to get max value out of his pump. Just letting that Princess sit there hitting his tower. What? And I feel like uh, Patrick has nothing to deal with it, and now he's feeling the pain. He needed to play that Musketeer a lot sooner and close to the middle. He could have taken out the Princess and still... And he zaps and right stops his goblins. Woo! Oh zap on the goblins. Look at the damage that Princess got. 
half of the health. Wow. Freaking a thousand damage from that princess on the right hand side, all because Patrick chose to left it, uh, leave it, and that's that's really painful. Oh man, really painful. And he even got damage on the left hand side from his push. Bright light is just looking. He's at such a strong position Especially right now. Especially going up against a giant poison deck, like that poison. That giant's almost guaranteed to get at least one hit on the tower, right? And the poison's going to do at least like three, <laughs> around like three hundred. Yeah, you're getting you're so, getting around three hundred and the giant hit. So the mini Pekka is really like the MVP in both decks, like. Who's gonna play their mini Pekka better to really and zaps to you know stop the giant before it even gets the tower? Uh, that that like he didn't even stop. Brightlight wasn't even able to stop the giant there, and he arguably played like really yeah, good. Yeah, and then counters. he left, and then he's just been letting the the Patrick's just been letting the princess hit his tower this whole match. And you're like you're playing against a giant poison deck, letting that princess get that chip damage. Oh, you tower can't. Half, half you can't do that. It's yeah. just no, no. Thankfully, it's been split. So the 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 split, which it could end up being in the favor if this goes into overtime, because. It looks like it very well could. Very strong push coming in on the left-hand side from both players. Zap again. zap again, and that princess is going to do so much work on the right-hand side. Forced to zap the princess out like no help. Jumps another princess. And that means uh, they're at least going to shut down the the giant on the left-hand side. Another princess there gets some poke damage in. He needed the Valkyrie. Brightlight needed his Valkyrie there. So oh, the mini Pekka makes it the tower. That's a hit. Oh, man. Valkyrie. Valkyrie Boys doesn't quite zaps make it. Take this tower out. Mini Pekka just going to run the tower. He doesn't even answer for it. Drops a Valkyrie. Poison Zap will take the tower out. Bright Light is now regretting the split push he made. Oh, but Giant! It's, no, it's not. With, it's, I don't think Giant's ever going to be able to touch tower, but it's not going to matter because Poison Zap is going to put it away. Uh, both players looking to make a play here. Poison drop down. Uh oh, this there is we go. No, no Zap's 96. Not do it. It's not in Zap, but that Giant will. Oh, and the Giant my takes it. Woo! Patrick. Taking one for Nova, so freaking close, and now we are 1-1. One, one. Also, I just got confirmation that we got the winner of the t-shirt contest, and the winner is Clash with Frank. Yo! Hype. Some, some hype! Yeah. That was so close. That was so close. Bright Light, man, he had the advantage uh, the whole time. Literally the whole time. And unfortunately, the split push just... It, the, the, it that was, was his big... So... It's gonna come down to that, I think. Again, it's gonna come down to that last that match. That last match, I could see it. I could see it happening. Ooh. Here we go, anonymous versus Pompeo. Interesting. Okay, anonymous saying it says he's a big boy. He can handle the he can handle the heat. Let's see it go. It's it's actually okay. So I'm totally. I think starting giant instead of pump is is like a really good start, especially if you have the poison in your deck. So are we gonna see the poison? Are we gonna see the pump? I'm not sure. Ooh. Really interesting for Pompeo to have the uh, bomber, bomber, the bomber and that goblin barrel. Oh, that goblin barrel play could have been so good. He did bait the, or he did stop the um stop the, the, giant. The, the giant didn't even get a hit on the, the, tower. the, the zap. So yeah. Pompeo is running a very sort of low cost deck, and we haven't seen giant in his deck. Two elixir comes down already. Dang. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. His, his cycle deck is so fast. That that bomber mini pack counter for the giant stopped it from even getting to the tower. That's ridiculous. Oh yeah, it was it, that bomber. Low key does so much damage. Uh, it's just not as strong of a card, but in this context where you know you're playing against something like Giant, getting a lot of damage is really important, and especially for three, that's like really good. The bomber hits the freaking Giant and the mini Pekka. What a great tech choice by Pompeo. Look at that, spreading his troops out, making sure none of them can get hit with, with the same spell. Yeah, double giant. Wow, Pompeo got an extremely strong push on the right hand side. Anonymous is feeling the pain. The you know, I really wanted to here. see Anonymous's Goblin Barrel do more Look work. At Look at this push on the right hand side. Kobe Bomber, Bomber in the that back. tower is gone. Kobe Bomber in the back. <laughs> Hashtag Kobe Bomber. Oh my god, yes. That was so good. Kobe Bomber in the back making plays. <laughs> Look at this it's bomber. gonna be a three crown. Oh my goodness! It's gonna get another hit off. Like that's ridiculous. The that, value he oh got out gosh. of that bomber, it shut down the giant. It shut down the mini Pekka. It took the tower and then even got a hit on Crown Tower. It what? Is... <laughs> what? <laughs> that was insane. And Pompey was not letting up, man. He is taking advantage of his pumps early on. Keeps the pressure on. Keeps putting in work. Look how long the bomber can stay alive inside the poison. That's like, absolutely crazy. It, that's ridiculous. Like. Look I'm at the damage Pompey was already done to Crown Tower with 45 seconds left. He's saying, Anonymous, I'm not even going to let you touch my tower. Anonymous needs to bait out the Zap and get the Goblin this push at work. If he can bait, if the Zap is there, oh, no Zap, and he's going to get really good damage. That's the, 
That's the play he needed to make the first time. He but needed that play the this first time, so he could have got two hits of that. I don't know if this is going in overtime. It looks like it's going to be a three crown for Pompeo. Kobe. Double Kobe. Kobe's in the house. Double Kobe, <laughs> and that is match. Oh, man. Pompeo oh, with the three man. crown. That's good. That makes me want to in one of my decks now. Doesn't it? Doesn't it? You know what's crazy, though? I guarantee a bunch of people are going to go put Bomber in their deck and it's not going to work for them. Because it's not one of those cards that you can just put in and it's going to work. That was an extremely smart tech like, let's choice. Go, let's, go now, uh, let's go look at his deck here. So we had Skeletons, uh, Musketeer. Strong players on both sides. Yeah, really strong players on both sides. Let's see what kind of decks they're running. Obviously, it's probably going to be another giant deck. But Valkyrie in the back, Pump in the back. Have you not? Nova has... There we go. I was like, Nova has not started Pump. All series, that's like really unfortunate hands for them. But he had to drop a Valkyrie to cycle Exactly, to cycle for it. That's so unfortunate. And the the, the Musketeer for that is the, the, the right choice. Oh, nice. Valkyrie even got a hit off. Wow. Princess next to the pump. Uh, that's, that's just baiting a poison. You're just right baiting the poison. You're baiting Inferno, the... Uh, Inferno, there we go. Oh, but it was almost worth it because now the Inferno is going to do max damage. And Princess even got a hit off on that. He does, oh, why would you zap, zap, that? zap I am not sure. I felt like he should have just... Taking the loss, you know, got the one hit off the Musketeer and let the, let the Inferno burn out, right? You don't need to waste your Zap there. Save that. Got Especially because now, hard. where's your Zap poison now? That's, oh, wow. Oh, Really wow. strong by Light Pollux. Great lure. Will win, not getting flustered. Great lure for that that uh, minion horde. That could have been a tower. Oh my gosh, that definitely would have been a tower if he did not pull that minion horde with that uh, with the Valkyrie. The Valkyrie. But, but look at how much elixir. Yeah, he is. He's at a disadvantage now. Uh, and yeah, Inferno, there comes the, the Inferno Valkyrie. Counter great counter, giant. man. There goes the giant, and Light of Pulx is looking to make a and strong he can't, counter. He can't zap that anymore. No, it's it's dead now. He's in, he's no, he's got to he, save it he, for the barrel. Yeah, he's got to save it for the barrel or the minion horde. One of the two. <laughs> yeah, either way he looks at it, it sucks. And he, he's really, in fact, he really has to get the minion horde with the poison so he can save the zap for the goblin barrel. Yeah. Great choices really by Light Pollux. I'm you loving can't really that deck. The princess anymore. You have to save that poison for the minion horde. You have to save the zap for the goblin barrel. You have to save the um, you're like you have to save your skeletons for the princess. Yeah, it, it the feels like Light Pollux is really. Getting Getting in his mind, which is what you have to do when you're playing uh, that Goblin Barrel, right? Yeah. It's really much a mind game card. Giant Skeleton! Oh, there it yes. is! Goblin Barrel, Giant Skeleton coming in from Light Pollux, shutting down that really strong push on the left but hand the giant side. Does get the tower. Giant does make a tower with decent health, but Mini Peck is there, so it's only going to get three hits off. Yeah, three hits off, and now he's got a Giant Skeleton Mini Peck or Valkyrie push coming. Giant Skeleton does die. Wow! Here. Oh man, the Giant Skeleton died not exactly when you wanted it to die. Uh, those go the the goblins though are gonna those do really good damage. With the giant and skeleton, and they're trading hype, about though. even. They're trading about even. That giant skeleton, man, light Pollux. Congrats on your down. deck. I love your deck. Much better giant skeleton play there. He can arguably shut down the Valk and Musketeer. He does end up zapping the Inferno here. And he's gonna get an here. eight for six. Oh, oh taking out all shut that. down the Valk. Good to know. But it the the towers will. Valkyrie on Valkyrie with Musketeer with there as well. Yeah, Wilwin to... really taking advantage of his pumps there, but because he used he does uh, that, the there's the horde. poison for the Minion Horde. Minion Horde is going to get the damage it needs to get, though, and if he can stop this giant, it looks like Light Pulse is going to have a strong push oh, coming. Zap. No, the Zap, great Zap there. Let's the giant now get a, a lot full, of hits off. Now there's a full health giant skeleton, though. Oh, and it's coming in hot. It's already at bridge. Here we go. Wilwin has proven all game he's really good at luring. Oh, the zap for the the goblin barrel! Nice, and he forced out another out zap. Yes, it does take out the musketeer with that with that bomb explosion. Unfortunately, it didn't hit the belt, but he did take Minion cannon horde. too, and it gets past uh, the poison. It gets past the poison, so he has to lure it. Goblin barrel coming. Goblin barrel hot. coming back to do damage. The zap. Ooh. Oh, the zap takes it out. And the zap was yeah. The zap was too early. He zapped that tower a little bit too early, especially because it would have retargeted the barrels if he did that. And you don't want it to retarget the goblin the barrel. That, the thing that kind of puts this puts him um, behind at this moment because he was dropping that giant skeleton to take on the giant, and he should have been dropping the inferno still. Yeah, exactly. He should have gone. He could got more value out of the giant skeleton. Uh, Will Win just cycled way too fast barrel. for those zaps, and it looks like Will Win's gonna take it with poison, and that's gonna be three One. for Alpha. Wow. Dang, that was insane. Yo, shout out, shout out to Light Pollux though. But we saw hype on that deck. We saw the giant skeleton.
And uh, you, I, you I thought Light was really going to pull it out. That was so strong. That was, he started so strong. But Wilwin, he was so good at those pulls. Did you see how good he was at pulling the giant skeleton, pulling the minion horde, not needing to use his poison against the minion horde? The bomb needed to take out Valk. He needs to take out Valk. If he would have got eight for six, then it would have been a great trade. Or they should just make the giant skeleton go straight for defense buildings. I could see that too as a defense card. We got Articus Light versus Trainer Chris. Nova's battling for points now. Alpha Esports will remain the undefeated clan. Nova, if they pick up, they need to pick up enough points to be ahead of Crucible Rat. Because yeah. Crucible 4-1, right? They they are they are they're they gonna got, come into the next match just, really just strong. Yeah. So we're we're uh if if Nova doesn't really want to get thrown from their top spot. And you know, Nova was arguably in the top spot for a very long time because they were known to be good. You know, Crucible was really the underdog. So uh, if they don't pick up the points here against Alpha, then I can see them dropping down. Expo! Out of Expo! Pot. Bowler Expo by Alpha Esports coming in here, and it immediately targets the tower, getting so much damage. Full Expo, full Bowler, wow. See, like, that's what I say with the with the, goal, the, uh, the the Bowler right there. It should stop the Princess Charge. The pushback is what you're saying. Yeah. If the pushback stopped the Princess Charge, the Bowler would be such a stronger card. Uh, Trainer Chris didn't Expo's even need it tower. here. Did not even need it here. He got 2,000 damage out of that Expo Bowler push. And if his next, if his last card's like a, a rocket or something, he's in, he's safe, so. Yo, you know Boom from Clash Wars has got to be so hyped right now. This is the same kind of deck that he likes to play, and I love to see someone else playing it. Trainer Chris coming in hot. Oh, it's Elixir Pump, so he only has one spell, and it's a Zap, so he does have to get more damage on the tower. That could cost him... Yeah, it was sort of weird. It was sort of a weird play there. Uh, but I, maybe he used it to cycle. You never know. This X bowler deck is so weird. It's such a weird off-meta deck, and uh, it works so well at tournament level. Well, because bowler maybe he just from needed to, to get back into so the rotation. So the way the giant poison deck works is you drop a lot of small units with the giant and do a big push with the poison, right? Exactly. Well, the bowler kind of shuts that down. It pushes everything back. It stops you from ever ever getting your units to the tower. Well, especially with giant, because you're gonna hit everything behind it. The yes. push through on, or the the hit behind is so good. He shut down that prince. Prince didn't even make it to tower. Unfortunately, uh, he didn't have damage. anything. Yeah, he didn't have the mini P.E.K.K.A. to stop the giant. So he took a lot he of damage. The X, though. He's looking to put away this mini tower. Uh, great giant right there. Giant guards is a really, really good counter. The princess was a great uh, sort of sort of stop play by Trina Chris, but the mini P.E.K.K.A. was already gone. So that giant is going to do a lot of work here. Articus Light really getting into his zone, looking like uh, he's going to take this tower. The prince is just gonna go straight after the guard. Oh, it gets him the guard. Does he go after the bullet? Yeah, really, really good uh, placement of guards there. It's gonna keep and that bullet alive. Drop a giant and here we go. Now we're look. Oh, there we go. He needs. He needs to deal with the giant, right? If he wants that expo to target tower, if he wants to put this away, he needs to keep his this is mini what he's tech alive. Do with it right here, though, it's going. Yeah, there are five seconds left. That could be tower if he shuts down the musketeer. The zap makes it retarget. He is gonna get the That's tower game. here with the. Expo and it is over. The way the way that Ooh. it actually worked on that push is because the bowler kept on pushing the guards away from the mini pack, so the so mini pack didn't hit the t giant. So that yeah, so that took the uh, out, it was game over. So basically, you really want so if you're playing if you're if so for the people at home right if you want to try this ex bowler deck it, at uh, tournament level, there you have it straight from Stick himself. You really want to get the bowler in front of your or even behind your mini pekka, but so it's pushing away the counters to mini pekka, it's pushing away those guards, yeah. and then the expo can clean everything up. It can take the tower. The Give it a try. It just won another match today. Or whatever big counter they have for the expo, the um the mini pack could focus on it. You exactly. Know? So it could be totally a golem, agree. it could be a giant, it could be um what else we got? We got uh Royal Giant. It could be whatever they want to run, or a hog rider or whatnot. A hog rider trying to take out an expo, because the bowler's just gonna keep on pushing it back, so it's never gonna get there. But it can still, the only thing you have to worry about is like another person running like another expo on you, <laughs> like we seen that one week. Or, or you have, uh, we have uh, Inferno down to take out the exactly, expo. Exactly, like different, different Bomb Tower will do it too. Like there's different things that you can do to counter this deck, but. You won't see it a lot in a tournament level. Exactly, that's why it's so deck. strong. And uh, so, but that, that ends the series. 4-1 Alpha Esports, Alpha, man, big hitters undefeated i expect them to see them at the top of the hot list next week and on that note let's cue into uh the most picked cards of week three and sort of compare so we can compare it to next week so we've got this is this is sort of what we were talking about earlier we had the zap mini pekka so the uh, zap poison and princess 95 percent man 
That's ridiculous. Yeah, it's it basically every deck. It's what if that Zach needs the nerf, right? No, no, this, just if, like, no, 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 this just shows that Zap is right so here, strong. Then Zap should get a one. Somebody should try banning Zap. That that is also fair. That's a fair argument. Why? Or minor Zap P.E.K.K.A. ban, or or, 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 or Zap a mini Pekka ban. Can you imagine if the, the Zap mini Pekka gets banned? That hurts minor. It hurts giant. It hurts the X bolt. It, like, but it opens up decks with the Goblin there. It opens up decks with um, different things like that. Then you have to. Oh my goodness! Ban the Zap. It. Play the Goblin. Play the uh, the Minion Horde. These are things that the clans could think about to really throw things off for next week, right? Because yeah. we've seen sort of like the same meta. We've seen some off meta shifts. But if they just switched up the bans completely and forced completely new decks for the last three weeks, that could really make the sort of underdog clans or the cold clans yeah. push up and 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 come back in this series. You know, if you look at like the princess, you're not people don't think, oh, I'm gonna ban the princess. But if you look at it, 65 percent of people are using the percent of the, the usage is really high for a legendary. So. In fact, it yeah. could show that the princess is actually doing games and cleaning up games. Like that one game we saw where the princess got like half health on a tower on both sides. But exactly. Well, it's it's and I feel like it's crazy to see princess over uh, ice wizard because I think most people would always argue, oh, ice wizard, ice wizard, ice wizard. But no, we're showing that at tournament level, in uh, like the most competitive setting that you could possibly get, princess is the one putting in work well, when miners banned and you can't have you know that sort of trump card. You know, Princess in the back is just being such a nuisance, and we saw it get so much damage today on yeah. that right side tower in Bright Lights match. That was crazy. Well, it's the reason why the Princess is so good is because it's so it can be it can mold into any deck. The Ice Wiz doesn't mold into any deck. I don't feel like the Ice Wiz has uh, has like um, can flow with every single deck style, but the Princess can you can just throw the Princess in it for something. Like, exactly. You can throw the Princess in it because you're gonna use the use the Princess. For it's them more to bait, synergy. To the, it's yeah, more synergy with those, to bait their those other poison things. on it or to bait their uh, their arrows on it or whatever they have to take out your Princess. They're gonna do that on your Princess. I suppose they're just gonna sit back and go. Oh, I'm not gonna really counter that. Yeah, and I, I hope to see like Zap Band and then get some sort of like Goblin Barrel Sparky deck going on. That that would be my thing. I think bands will be really important going into the next week. On that note, let's flip over to the hot cold. And sort of take a look at where we were at versus where we think we're going to be next week. Nova okay. has been at the top all, like, all, basically every time. And they finally got shut down by Alpha Esports today. Yeah. Crucible Wrath, too. I think Crucible could actually end up going to, it's going to be probably second. second you think it'll be Alpha, Crucible, and then and sort of like. And then Nova. Nova. And then, uh, yeah, and see sort of a flip of these other ones. Clash Wars. Taking their first win of the Clash series probably, might be able to push off that. Uh, I, uh, they're uh, they're <laughs> probably going to jump ahead. They're not going to be in last, probably like second to last. They'll still be in the cold meter, I believe. Yeah, well, it's the first win. It's the first win. So yeah. maybe we can. I, I'd like to see some of the cold guys, some of the middle guys, really push. You know, uh, push up. I think this is what we're talking about. Elite Clash Wars Genesis though. Hammers. Their bans are going to make or break a lot of their gameplay for the next week. Uh, elite gaming is going to drop down. I feel like. I feel like PG, yeah, they took a really hard hit today. Uh, really, really big, really big hit today. And I feel like, uh, well, I did, mean, they were up against Crucible Wrath. Like, we knew Crucible was going to put in work. They put in work all the time. Um, so, huge split, right? Right now, we have Crucible right next to Elite Gaming. I feel like, like you said, we'll see a huge split in that. We could see a huge... Uh, even jump in some of the cold clans because they had such great matches. Yeah. Like Clash Wars with the, the Expos today. And, uh, man, Ryu, Crucible, from... Crucible had <laughs> such great matchups today with the freaking, uh, hog pools and just like that. Those things are absolutely insane that you don't see in like everywhere else. Yeah. This is the first time I think we've seen an Expo outside of, uh, Clash Wars. Yeah. Oh, that's what matches, right? Yeah. Today was the first one. That was pretty cool to see like more new, unique off-meta decks branching out. And People those are decks noticing. are winning. Those yeah. are the ones that are putting away matches. The off-meta decks have have literally, I wish next, like we what we should do next when in one of the leagues is sort of like uh, uh, check out, you know, sort of meta combos versus off-meta combos and see like the win rates of those decks because I feel like that could be really interesting because I, yeah. from what we've seen, I feel like well, the uh, the off-meta decks have higher say, win rates than the normal meta decks that we would yeah. think would win. When we say off-meta, we don't mean like the whole deck has to be cards that aren't used in normal decks. No, we, we mean, things we we mean the, win condition, the win condition isn't what normally is. So if you run the like trifecta, your win condition is your hog rider, right? More than likely your win condition is your hog rider. And if you're running uh, an 
expo deck that you might have a Valkyrie in there, you might have a Musketeer in there, but your win condition is your ex or your your expo is your win condition is your expo deck, right? Yeah, exactly. So when you so, win with the poison or you win with the mine or the musket or the uh mini Pekka, you know that's completely like different. Yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. Like or so we have a giant the giant death factor decks, right? The win condition is getting the giant there with the poison, right? That's 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 what you want to happen is your giant's gonna get there and that's your win condition. You run a mortar deck. Your win condition is usually going to be you trying to get that mortar on the tower damage, right? Yeah. But that's not, that's an off meta win condition. That's what, we, that's what we mean. Like the whole off meta about it is not your whole deck has to be different cards that aren't used in a meta deck. It's that win condition card. It's the win condition card. Exactly. That makes so much sense. And uh, on that, if you guys are, been with us all time or just joining us oh, next. Yeah, Go Hawks did use Next, uh, 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 yeah, exactly. Next, next stream is playoffs. Look at this. We are coming into the playoff streams. It's going to be single elimination. If you thought the league couldn't get any more hyped, uh, you're wrong because it's about to get even more hyped. Week after week, we're putting on a crazy show. Check this out. So These seeds up in this here. This is where it really matters. Oh, yeah. This is where things... This is where things get crazy. We're about to... We're going right into play playoffs, so, right? So... So, um... You can go into this first place. Like, Alpha goes into this first place, right? Yeah. Oh, for sure. Undefeated. Down. They can go knocked out. They gotta go. And that, and that would be a crazy upset. Can you imagine the upsets to uh, going into the next weeks when, like, the strongest clans just don't play at their A game? Like, they, they, it's not like you can bring it one week. You got to bring it every, every week. single week. But that's what... that's, that's And be... that's what Alpha's known for, though. So I don't think they're really sweating as bad as someone like Clash Force, who's only won one, or uh, e, uh, Elite Gaming, who got thrown off their game, and now they're like, crap... You know, they're kind of set back. That could have been beat. a strategy, though, for some of these clans, if they would have been doing that, playing none of their <laughs> players. Could have been a strategy. Yeah, that's true. Their, that's letting true. Letting none of their, their, their main, like, hard heavy hitters playing in the tournament or just doing, like, one or two at a time in each week. And then when they finally get to playoffs is when they put them all together. And well, we might see that next week. So I'm really excited for that, guys. Uh, and I and I hope I got everyone, you guys got to come back and see this because it's going to be so crazy. It's going to be I want to... Uh, I want to thank everyone, oh my goodness, all day, every day, you guys putting in the work, all the viewers, let's start with you guys for showing up week after week, giving us love, giving us hype, giving us the Twitter stuff, I really appreciate that, I hope you guys win some of the giveaways and you love that, thanks to all our sponsors, we got Mob Crush, we got Free My Apps, all of them doing doing so much for us, and uh, all the freaking people behind the scenes that you don't even know about, the clans, who are there like in the discord setting up their rosters doing the bands doing the coin flips with each other uh all the freaking marshals who manage everything deal with deal with the trolls they're gonna deal with the trolls day after day after day <laughs> and make it work so uh, <laughs> august yeah dude that was our <laughs> class from the beginning oh my god beginning. waiting for the semifinals. <laughs> but yes thank you man uh the clans have been so organized the admins the viewers uh, potions putting in a lot of work. There's, there's just so many people, and I, uh, we like, we want to thank you all. And so, uh, yeah, huge, huge shout out to everyone who comes out. We really appreciate it. And you guys, you guys make this leak for us for sure. Oh yeah, of course. And these matchups. Oh my this, goodness. Some of these matchups are crazy. Like this gameplay is like stuff that you, you don't really see. You don't see at all. Oh, you never, you're never gonna see it anywhere else but here. And on that, I hope we, we'll see you guys next week.